Well, guys, what a huge day in the Tour de France today. You know, stage four, 2017, Cavendish and Sagan collide. Uh, Cavendish is out of the Tour de France, possibly with a injury to his elbow. And also Sagan, sadly, has been disqualified. But the very latest news is Sagan's now launched an appeal. Sagan's now launched an appeal against the disqualification. And because of this hot news, we're going to have a quick look at this footage in a little bit more detail. Typical fast fitness tips detail here. Looking at this this footage between Cavendish and Sagan to see if we can see what happened. Now remember the rules here are actually a little bit vague. There's only really two rules. One violent or you know, disorderly conduct of one rider against another. And in sprinting, this rule 2.3.036, which is that riders shall be strictly forbidden to deviate from the lane they selected when launching into the sprint and in doing so endangering others. So the question you need to hold in your mind is, did Sargon deviate from the lane more than others in a sense? And in doing so, did he endanger Cavendish? Well, let's look at this. We've drawn up the footage here in our video analysis and it's quite interesting. Let's watch it at full speed. So this is the full speed footage of the riders going along. Demar launches his attack. All the riders press onto their right hand side as we're watching it, the left hand side of the road. Uh, Cavendish goes down. You know, it's a mess. It's a hell of a mess. It looks bad. Looking from above the helicopter footage in live real time, you can see Sargon there going across. But all the riders have gone across. Does Sargon go across any more than others? I'm not convinced. Slow motion now. Now what does a slow motion analysis suggest? It's a tiny movement and certainly Sargon's elbow comes out. So does his left knee, by the way. Sargon's right elbow comes out. So does his left knee. Cavendish has got very little space, no doubt. Cavendish is unclipped. His right leg has come out of the pedal. He's, he's falling. That's an instinctual reaction to keep at right. Now, let's look at it in slow motion from above. Now, this is more illuminating. Now, we'll start with Demar here. Demar's launching his attack and he's basically going to end up with a stage win. He goes past Sargon. Sargon in Cavendish and most of the riders are avoiding Greipel who has an incident in the middle here. Now at this point all the riders have moved actually safely onto the right hand side. No rider is particularly under uh, deviating any more than any other. No rider is particularly causing a hazardous effect at this stage. And the incident's about to occur and then unfortunately slightly obscured by that tree but Cavendish is certainly falling at this point you can see that Sargon's elbow is out. I don't believe Sargon's elbow makes contact with Cavendish. Is it off-putting to him? Well, I don't know. It depends whether that was involved. If you put yourself in the, in the position of Sargon, you will actually see he's off balance. He's off balance, but he's doing what Sargon does best. He retains his balance. He's, he's desperately fighting with the bike. He can't take his hands off the handlebars, otherwise he'd fall. His hips are out of, out of line, which is unusual for a sprinter. He's basically uh, twisted around the hips. And because of that, he's thrown his elbow out, in my opinion, to maintain his balance. And at that point, Cavendish is already falling. Just go back one or two frames here. You see it's obscured by the tree a little bit. You know, whatever happens, the, the line above is obscured by the tree. Demar is away here. Cavendish is already falling at this point. And um, look at look at Sargon's elbows at this point as they come out from under the tree cover. His elbows aren't particularly out. There's just very, very little room. He isn't also deviating into the path. Notice the bike paths. The two bikes are facing forward. Every Everyone's bike is facing forward. It's not deviation that's caused any problem here. It's really the lack of room where they've all got squeezed onto that um, right-hand side. And going further, Cavendish is going down at this point. He's down. Sargon's still trying to keep straight. And there, the incident's over in a flash. Now, Cavendish has come out and say, I'm confused about the elbow, but it's actually line deviation. It's line deviation that causes the problem in sprints, unless Sargon was considered to be conducting aggressive behavior towards Cavendish. And Cavendish, ironically, isn't really one to talk about line deviation. <laughs> Who remembers his line deviation in the Olympics 2016, guys? He had a massive line deviation and completely got away with it. Um, you know, Cavendish isn't really one to talk about line deviation after some of his sprints. So in the opinion of Fast Fitness Tips, and this is just our opinion, Sargon hasn't conducted himself violently or aggressively towards Cavendish. And the elbow was, in our opinion, an attempt to keep on the bike himself. And if anything, no, no riders there particularly deviated from any other. And the deviation itself, such that there was, didn't cause any dangerous or, or foul play. In other words, it didn't cause harm to another rider. So I personally think that Sargon's appeal should be upheld. What do you think, guys? This is a quick one from Fast Fitness Tips. Just because of the 
just because of the incredible events of uh, of today. All right, I'm sure you let me know in your comments below, guys. Take care. Have a good ride.